When we're talking about fractions, you're just looking at how many parts per the whole or how many how many parts of something out of all of the parts. So, for instance, if we look at this one, we have one part, right? One part there, right here, but we have two parts total. So we have two parts total, so let's write the total. So one part and two parts total, that means that this is one half. Now the same thing can be said for this one right here. It is two parts, we have two parts total out of four different parts. But really when we look at it, we can simplify this right here. This is one half again. And really, later on you'll learn that you can simplify this into one half. It's the same thing because this is one half of all of this. So two is one half of four. So this is one half also. So then we can go even smaller and we look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. There's eight parts and there is a total of, there's eight there. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 parts. And again, we can go, this is one half because this is one part right here per two parts. So I, I could really look at this and go, well, this is really one group, one part right here. And this is another group right here. And so I've got one half again. Same thing here, right? One group. And that makes one out of two. One group out of two. One group out of two. So that's basically when you're looking at one half, that's, that's how you're going to come up with that. Now, if you want to look further into this, you can say, well, I can reduce this because 8 goes into 16 two times. But that's a whole other thing.